I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a mini PC this is a Dell mini PC OptiPlex 3080 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the hard drive add a hard drive or you know, remove it and what are the good combinations that you can have in here alright so first thing first you need a screwdriver set I recommend you guys to grab an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there we're gonna be using a Philips number one from this tool set. There we have it. And in here, to open it, it's really, really simple, easy to do. All you need to do is to loosen up the middle screw at the back, just like that, and then slide the top cover forward about one centimeter, and then you just wanna lift it up. Next down here, you wanna see a big empty caddy right here. If you, yours doesn't have a mechanical hard drive, all you need to do is to push these two triggers together gently and then slide it backward. And there you have the carry. And down here you're going to see the Wi-Fi board and then you're going to see the M.2 board right here. To remove the M.2 board there's a tiny screw at the back so you want to go ahead and remove that tiny screw. And then M.2 should come out in 45 degree upward just like this. You want to slide it backwards and there you have it. This is a PCI Express M.2, so that means that is a much, much faster than SSD than the SATA connector right in here. So I recommend you guys to grab a good SSD. I'll leave a link for a good brand SSD in the video description in case you want one. And grab a 1 terabyte or 500 gigabyte, put UOS in this M.2 and the program so it will be super fast for loading. Put it in 45 degree inside and put the tiny screw at the back. Now, for the second hard drive in here, you can get an SSD drive to put in here, or you can get any 2.5 inch mechanical drive. There's a one terabyte Kingston Black, or you can grab any two terabyte mechanical drive. To put any of these in here, they're all the same. All you need to do is to put the hard drive right into the holes right in the corner and in here you want to pull it back a little bit and squeeze the pin right inside the screw hole and that is nice and steady right there next you just want to sit down with an offset position right in here wiggle it around it will just sit there and the last thing is to just push it towards the connector on this side right there make sure the Jack goes right in there and it's there good. Now I usually like to put a two terabyte mechanical drive in here, but if you want, you can go get a really good SSD, a two terabyte SSD, one terabyte, put it in here. So the speed between the main C drive and the second storage is will be super fast. If not, you can just get a mechanical drive and put it on the second one. To remove it, pinch these two together and pull back bring it up to remove it all you need to do is just peel off the caddy and then slide it out same thing goes for the ssds the same thing goes in here the same the screw holes it's in the same place okay just make sure that the sata and this uh, power connector are facing the same way so i'm going to put it like this so you see this is smart connected to the sata has to go to the SATA right over here, which is a short one. So if you put the SSD backward, it will not just budge right through the connector. All right, this is for demonstration. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them. The last thing is to put the cover. You wanna put it in an offset position and you wanna slide it backward and tighten up the screw right at the back if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i really appreciate it all right and that covers today's video